What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're looking at something kind of cool. Well, I hope it is at least. This is the Mini Game Anniversary Edition Entertainment Center with 620 built-in classic games. I've seen some other reviews online and a lot of people really are enjoying this thing, um, but I've also heard that some of the built-in games are like bootleg or not really bootleg, but maybe like different editions, different versions from other countries. So, I don't know. I noticed that this is an AV out, so I actually ordered an AV to HDMI adapter just so I can show this thing off. So as you can tell, it looks very similar to the Nintendo, the original, but the controllers look a little different. Uh, looks like there's two more buttons on there. So there's the enormous list of all the games that are built in to this little console. Uh, you can pause it here and go down the list as you want to. I'm not gonna go through every one of them. I say let's just open it up. Okay, that's tiny. That is way tiny. Oh, and there's stuff underneath it. Okay, so we've got a user manui. Uh, so, okay. Don't need that. All right, power adapter. It is a micro USB power adapter. We've got the AV cable. It's about five foot long. Oh God, what is that? Two point something? One point whatever? Anyway, it's a very small adapter to AV. Um, I forgot the size of that. Anyway, 2.4, I think? I don't know. And then we've got the controllers. It feels like the original, except with the extra uh, T, B, and T, A buttons. And then the cable, it's, uh, I don't know, some sort of proprietary plug. It's a six foot cable. So there we go. And we've got two of them, but I'll set this one out to the side. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoops. I just broke it. Wow. That is, let's say it feels like paper. I don't know if they have like a raspberry Pi in there or something, but it can't be anything too special. I'm not going to take it apart. We got the power reset plugs for the controllers. You got your micro USB port and your AV out. Okay. Well, let's Let's plug this thing in. Let's see what's uh, let's see what's going on here. Let's see what happens. Oh, totally forgot. Okay, this is a little adapter that I picked up on Amazon uh, from Glandu. Uh, it's an AV2 to HDMI. So you've got your yellow, white, and red inputs with your HDMI output, and then you've got your USB power port, and you can switch the uh, the resolution from 720 to 1080. So it can only go from RCA to HDMI, not the other way around. Well, that was fast, whoa. Well, the resolution is a little off. Oops, I just powered it off. I don't know if it's the screen or what, but the resolution is a little off. This is a limited monitor, so I'm not gonna be able to really control much of that. This is the main menu, so it starts you off, it starts you off right here, um, and I, I guess you just keep going down until you find what you're looking for. Uh, well, let's, let's go with Contra. Start? What? So, we've got all the Contras. Wow. Okay, cool. So 12 in one. So Contra plus all the versions. Interesting. Okay, well let's let's go to the first one. Got him. Classic. And I'm dead. Okay, let me hit reset. Uh, let's try Super Mario. Wow, this is, and it's quick. I mean, I'm not speeding this up. This is crazy, like old feeling even. Like I'm playing like on an old CRT television. All right, reset. What else is there on here? Mario 3, what's Mario 6? This is some modified crazy version or a version of Mario I've never heard of. All right, I've had enough of that. Double Dragon. I got an idea. Eh. You're going down, woman. <laughs> no. Stop. Got. No. <laughs> no. She's totally. <laughs> she's totally destroying me. Uh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Get out. Get out. <laughs> They're not in alphabetical order. I don't like that. <laughs> they definitely need to be in alphabetical order. If you like old Nintendo games and uh, apparently other games that I didn't know existed, it's not bad. I mean, for 22 bucks, that's not a bad way to go. But this is kind of a neat way to go about uh, playing some old NES games. Of course, it's not perfect, you know? I don't expect it to have some crazy, amazing interface that you can search with, but it would be kind of cool to see this a little bit more modernized, maybe have built-in blue 
Bluetooth. That would be really nice. All right, guys, that is it. Uh, you know, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below where you can find this if you're interested, but I leave it in your hands. Uh, as for now, get out of here.